Hello and welcome back to Skyrim and to Darklight Tower again. Now, I, I realized um, after having done the recording last time that uh, I missed a um, crucial uh, treasure room, well, a unique treasure room. I haven't looked up what's inside it, but I did look up how to get it. Um, if you look back at uh, the, the last episode, you might have noticed that we ran past a door that says key required or requires a key or something like that. Now, those are the, some of the few locks that you cannot pick, not even with the skeleton key. These need specific keys that you can acquire throughout the world. It so happens that Ilya has the key that we need, so we have to talk to her. Yes? So first we have to make her a follower because this is how we get this. We're not don't worry, we're not going to take her along. We're just going to need her for right this. You. It's time I need to trade some things with you. you and here you go. Rather than letting her carry something, this is what you want. Dark light tower closet key. Now you can only get this if uh, Ilya happens to die along the way of the tower or if you, pref if you help her and uh, take it from her. It won't do anything against you because she is your friend. And that was pretty much all that we needed it for. So, I'll head back home. yes, you are already home, so that will be a short trip. Right, let's head back into the tower. And get whatever is inside that um, closet. After we've done that, I will make a cut and meet you out on the on the road going north in uh, in the rift towards the nearby orc orc stronghold, so that we can do that. There's a date request there, which we will start, but I don't believe that we have to finish it at once. But. Uh, we can have that on our list. Uh, what is it on my marker? I have unfathomable depth and no zone onto it. Right. Uh, unfathomable depth is um, the dwarven ruins of Avanchin Shell. And uh, well, that will be our first true dwarven ruin uh, per se. Uh, I mean, I did care Grenzel, but uh, as you might remember there wasn't exactly much of dwarven ruins there, except there was just a long fall with a former cave beneath leading out to Stony Creek Cave. Anyway, we should be coming out pretty close to where the locked closet is. Even though it didn't look like a closet, it didn't look more like a room door, but... Who am I to judge? Those were... Uh, it was witches living here in this tower. Witches and hag ravens and well, I don't know, don't know what they would know about uh, fashion, but uh, enough dallying around. Let's go and find this locked room and see what is in there. Now I would, I could have spoiled for myself just to go and look and see what was inside, but um, I didn't want to do that and. Realizing that I was going to film the next episode anyways. I think this is it. Yes. Wooden door requires key. Alright, let's see what is in here. So it doesn't look too grand. Some bowls, some wooden plates, some potions. That is nice. So this was pretty much for naught. Uh, no hidden treasure? Anything in the barrels? Right, so... Okay, well, these are the kind of things that you, if you don't look things up, uh, you'll never know. But... Wow, so that was a waste of time. Literally. There is almost nothing of value in here. Don't know why I bothered ever coming in here. Well. Uh, I'll cut it here, and then I'll see you back on the road. And we're back. So, there, as you've seen, there wasn't much. Oh, is there a farmer heading for Windham? Well, you're going the wrong way, mate. Uh, first order of business is 
uh, visiting the orc stronghold here and as far as I remember they have some minor issues going on to say the least because the Daedric Prince Malakath uh, has left their sight and now they are under attack by giants. At least that what is supposed to happen. Um, I don't actually see any giants here but I'm going to scour the area just in case. Um, let's see. What is that, Lagerspur or Nasselbur? I always mix those two up. Uh, let's see, I don't... Uh, and there wasn't any ore here. Um, that is kind of weird, because as you can see, I've not been to this... Oh, it was Lagerspur. And we already have one dead orc here, unnamed. Uh, can have some eel? Do we have any named orcs that have died? Uh, doesn't seem like it for now. Let's see what do we have. Ugor. Oh well. He probably wasn't that great of a. Forgive Ugor's harsh words. She's merely doing. Well, I have not heard her harsh words because she is dead. Yeah, that is what Malakath will do to you. He is the Daedric Prince of Curses. Yamars oh. refuses help, but I sense Yamars has demanded we stay. I must. Oh. I cannot oh. travel the Malakath Shrine. The ritual coming then. Can you bring me troll fat? Uh, Daedra Heart. Oh, didn't I have that? Oh well. Now this uh, quest was also a way to uh, get in good with uh, the orcs here. But since we're not going to do that right now, uh, are you out fighting? Is there a giant nearby or have they already slain it? Because if they have indeed slain a giant, well then, there is loot to be had, and where there is loot to be had, I will be there and obtain said loot. Oh well, we can actually already see the marker appear on the map. Uh, so what we will do is, uh, this will be a travel episode, so I won't make it this a really long one. We'll discover a mansion cell and then we'll just uh, blunder a bit about. Um, visit the mill and such. Because uh, a mansion cell is a longer quest and I don't want to... What is that? Uh, that is a... That's a troll. Or oh, it was a troll, so we enough. Glad that the trolls don't have ranged attacks. Now I probably have had had heard it. There was extra troll fat. Might take that as well. Uh, I would have heard it if my recording setup uh, allowed me to do that. Well, well, it does if I was using headphones. But uh, since I've gone under, going over to the uh, oh, that's wolf uh, to the blue snowball. Um, I have been forced to not have any sound because otherwise that would get picked up by the by the by the mic and uh, then get used in the recording and get picked up by the mic and so on and so forth, uh, creating quite a nasty sound and I rather would not that happen. Uh, where were we going? We we're going to the mill here. Yes, there is also a small quest uh, that. You tend to often start before you know it, and then you are actually not able to finish it because you have to have this um, quest activated before you can truly finish it. Hardwood Mill. Uh, this is the mill related to 
to Riften, of course, supplying uh, Riften with wood when when needed. Uh, granted, that probably isn't so much right now as uh, as Riften have, don't have a, a an active dock other than some small fishing boats and such. Uh, so the need for wood is probably relatively small. We have a, whole, a single hole guard here. Yes, and thankfully we don't have any vampires about. Uh, is it closed off? It is. Right, we shall go and uh, say hello to the outpost at this fortification. Uh, we won't be taking it over because that's a... Uh, uh, that's a stop we won't be be making. Let's see what's the time. 4 a.m. That is perfect. Alright. Sneak here. Oh, that's a spider. Have not seen me yet and it won't ever do. Nice. Why was there suddenly a green goo coming out of it? Uh, that's weird. But nothing that we will, will worry about. Uh, should be a lot of sentries up ahead with this. Oh, well that's not a sentry, that's a spider. Oh, that's a strong one. Oh, the poison killed it. Well, that works. Don't, don't waste this poison. It is useful. So this is more of a really very much a ruin, but somehow it is stable enough and solid enough for them for bandits to hold out here. Or brigands or what it is. Foldar's Tooth. Alright, uh, I believe there are some sentries out on the path here. Uh, should make for some easy shots. Hopefully. Even though I'm level 28, so they are probably pretty powerful actually. Well, maybe it's first over. Yep, yeah, there's actually there's definitely an enemy seeing me there. Are they coming out? Or are they trying to go around, which would make no sense? Uh, I think we should go up on this embankment here and then take pot shots wherever we can. Are they not coming out to fight me? No, they're not. Oh, right. My sneak level uh, helps with that. Uh, anyone here? Doesn't look like it. No. They have not seen me. Oh. Okay. Well, now they have. Not for long, though. I believe there are some pretty powerful archers up there. Don't really want to get into a fight with those, but... Uh, are you coming out, or are you on the wrong side of the, the fence there? Hello! Anyone else? It's a nice narrow room. And death. And... Oops, whoop. That works. That pretty much cleared it out. All right. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll uh, because Avengers Hill is. Uh, I mean, I could make Avengers Hill one entire episode. Uh, some wine. But um, I think we should just get it started. Uh, it's 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 one of those uh, with a lot of cutscenes and such. Well, not cutscenes per se, but. Uh, encounters that happen while you are uh, in the midst of clearing out the dungeon. And uh, so uh, a single episode would be a very, very long episode. And uh, well, I, do, I don't mind doing that. I've just cleaned up uh, about uh, 300 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space, uh, which makes it signif significantly easier to make videos. Um, ooh, an urn route. So I could easily make some long episodes and uh, well with uh, Oblivion up and running now um, 
I've definitely got some more uh, content to put out, and uh, uh, we cannot. Like, we will take this when we get out of Avenging Shell. Uh, we won't finish the quest of Avenging Shell because, well, we need to head back to Riften uh, to do that. To give um, the Agonian that we got the lexicon from closure and telling her that it is done and she can now rest easy. Right, so here we have the start of... Oh. Okay, something is chasing me, but I have been too fast for it to... Oh, to troll. Right over there. This is a long shot, but can we make it? We... Oh! <laughs> That was a really nice one. Wow. That that was a long shot. Yeah. Definitely. Right. No more dilly dallying and we shouldn't have any more enemies following us, hopefully. Now this is the thing with the with the, the rift. It is teeming with wildlife that is trying to take a bite or two out of your skin. Not particularly pleasant, but um, if you know what is coming, then you also know to sneak around, even if you have a low level of sneak, it does help. And that is also important. So, at first, well, we have some steam going on. Avanchian shell. It's hard to pronounce, I would say, but uh, the Dwemer is a unique culture. Um, the whole debacle about them disappearing and such. Um, perhaps it will be answered, perhaps not. Um, but the whole mysterium about them suddenly not being there anymore. Yeah, I don't think there is treasure outside right now, so let's just head in and get started with Avention Cell. I should have enough inventory space for quite some time. Uh, the thing about Dwemer ruins is that they often consist of many layers and uh, with relatively large amount of treasure actually. Uh, a good thing. Uh, normally not so uh, and more spread out than uh, Nordic tombs that have more the uh, decent loot ar along the way and then uh, one chest of uh, great loot at the end, typically in the inside or very near the boss room. Okay, do we have any ores or something to pick? No, but we do have some nice light blue lights. Okay, here goes the first cutscene. So we have some spirits here talking, and one of them was our Argonian friend here. Maybe it was here. Fathom, yeah. Mm. So she was actually more of the leader of the group, along with uh, Roots, Roots in the Deep, I think he's called. Uh, right, there shouldn't be anything here, but we will soon bump into an enemy that we have not met before. Uh, autom automatons. Yep, here goes the first one. A spider. Simple constructs. Whoa, that was a spider worker. They have that exploding tendency. Nothing. We can't handle though. They aren't particularly strong, but you should be aware that they... Okay. Are you... Wait, what's going on here? Oh. And get away from the electric... Oh, well, this one didn't do anything. That's all right. Dwemer oil, well, we've already... No, I don't need the soul gems. Gotta remember to not pick up any more soul gems. Anyway, no. uh, you didn't have anything. How about you, Dwemer spider? Come on, soul gem, we won't take that. Dwarven oil, well, why not? The thing is, uh, just with four, uh, the automatons have a tendency to spawn after you've passed, if you have a high level of sneak, which 
well, granted we do, I think it's about uh, 75 or something like that. Another thing is with uh, Dwemer ruins is that you can find a lot of stuff. Mostly it's useless and uh, weighing you down. But if you're looking to create uh, a lot of dwarven stuff, uh, which is really good for, for leveling your smithing skill, uh, it is absolutely something that is worth considering. Alright, we got some gears here and a long way down. Yeah, they seem to have a, um, a thing with uh, a large central tower-like chamber for, uh, for the buildings here. Let's see. So we actually have the marker on for this. Okay, is there anything up here? Uh, possibly. Well, there is something, but... Oh, and here we have a sphere. These give us crossbow bolts, if we could hit it. Well, now, we haven't acquired a crossbow yet, but... Um, I expect we will come across one soon enough. Uh, you are supposed to get the normal one uh, that you get from Ooh, Greater Soul. Now I can take those because it's already filled. I don't use soul traps, skills, build spells yet. We might when we get into the uh, Mage's Guild in, um, in Winterhold, or the Mage's College is probably more correct, as there is no Mage's Guild in Skyrim. Uh, you are a bit stuck in the floor there, there, my friend. How about I help you out? Sneak levels. Okay, there is some major glitching going on right there. Uh, not a big problem though. Uh, soon coming up on time. Is that a... Oh, yeah, apart from the other side. Alright, so that's possibly a way out. Well, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Once you are... Uh, aware of where to go, or rather aware of where not to go, then you can rule out that way and go back and choose a way that is more... Oh. Is this a way out? Because I don't want to go out. Uh, balcony. Da or, well, we can take a peek. So, because I've made this cut, um, we're only going to run this secondary uh, episode for uh, about 25 minutes. Well, uh, when you are watching it, it will be one big movie, or well, 30 minutes isn't big, but it's, uh, it's my normal rate of recording. So, it will be one episode, let's call it that one, regular episode. Uh, getting started with the mansion shell. So, is the treasure up here yay or nay? Yay, there is! Oh, good thing I came up here then. Let's see if this is a locked chest. It is, but only a princess, so this should not be any difficult at all. And it wasn't. Oh, uh, there are also, I found a couple of chests that I've missed in Darklight Tower. And, uh, well, all they had was... Uh... Oh, that's actually good. Uh, all they had was um, some gold in it, I think about 150 uh, coins in total, so nothing particular potent poison, we can do that. Uh, yeah, why not? Now, poison won't affect uh, the automatons, logically, because they are machines and you cannot really poison a machine, so... Uh, but that's my way of using the poisons. Uh, it's not really something that has an interest to me. But it 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 is come it comes in handy when fighting stronger enemies. Uh, one landing a hit with a poison weapon and seeing their their health bar drop slowly, even though it's not much, it does help in the grand scheme of things, and uh, that is also important. Uh, you should never underestimate even small amounts of damage. Of some about five minutes, right? Uh, so what did we have? Better go sneaking. Don't. Is that the guy that? Uh, okay, so these were the hands that we looted down there. Well, can you follow or no? You're stuck. 
That's okay. Why would there be sacks of flour here? Or is that a sack of carrots? Okay. Uh, that is kind of weird. Uh, do we have a way down? A safe way down. That is preferable because you can always get down, but getting down safely is a different matter entirely. Uh, so it's broken here. Uh, possibly falling down. Anyway, back to this one. Yeah, and we went in there, so we have to go this way now. And another sphere. Oh, was this the way we came from? No, no, it wasn't because there wasn't sphere of spec then. Right. Do I prefer crossbows to bows? Well, um, at first, uh, getting used to the crossbow was a bit. Uh, I wouldn't say strange because uh, it's just a matter of adapting your playstyle and your aim a little bit. Uh, get it? No. Well, he is now because. Um, but the more power, even though it has a, a, a much lower reloading time, uh, the greater power uh, add, adds up for it. Uh, you can really, really do some damage with a crossbow, even with the regular bolts, and that, uh, that does say a lot. Uh, we'll pick up some of these, go around, see if there's anything of notable loot ability. I let's call that let's give that a um, a, a, a nickname. Uh, let's see items of notable lootability. So that would be I N I N L I N L S. Yeah, we, we can call it that. And you get an arrow in the... well, I don't know if you even have a face, or a, or a butt for that matter, but you get an arrow in it anyway. Uh, do you... Yeah. as long as there is a soul, soul in the soul gem, it makes sense to... maybe this way? Yes. And a level in lockpicking? Yes! Great, and a chest and a full amethyst. That is nice, that is nice indeed. And those are not needed. Anything over here? No. Okay. Anything over here? No. All right. Let's another spider. Oh, didn't think that would hit. It did though. So, oh, and there's another one popping up right there, and now he's dead too. Quite the tail, I would say. Take that back. Take that back. Loot these guys and oh, we have a still a bit more time. Oh, spider worker. Uh, but, uh, nope. It's fine. Uh, we're probably also going to meet a centurion in this place. Uh, while they say that a ballista is technically more da dangerous, uh, I wouldn't know about that. The ballista has a very long range, indeed, yes. But, um,. Oh, don't you... Ow! Stop stabbing me. So the spider workers are tougher than the regular spiders. As you can see, and you can uh, notice the part that uh, the spider workers um, have an active uh, electric charge at top, which they fire at you and also explode when they die, like that. But other than that, uh, there's no difference between them. But centurions are easy to recognize. And you do not want to mess with the Centurion. It is an absolutely horrific enemy in any possible way. It has ranged attacks and it is very and it has a lot of HP. And powerful in melee, melee in close quarters too, uh, having both uh, a large hammer and or a large blade sometimes. Um, uh, oh, silver ore. That is nice. Shiny. That was you again. You! Okay, I think... Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting behind 
this door. Well, a trap of some description. Ah, dead end. And with a sphere spawner and uh, a dwarven armor. Nice. Not that we need it. Because what we have is way, way better. Elven boots of waiting fire. Uh, they only weigh one, so I can take those. Uh, emeralds and gold. Uh, let's see if we can get this guy to summon. Should be able to. Unless this is one of... The, yeah, you don't always get spheres from sphere spawners, but most likely you do. Let's try and see if this helps. Uh, drag this around if we can. We cannot. That's oh, I didn't want to pick it up. Uh, that would be apparel and dwarven armor. Wait, away with you. Okay, so no spawning from. Wait, what? All right, something saw me. Uh, where are you? Did I manage to get stuck there? I hope not. Uh, nope, no, it's fine. It's fine. What? Hmm. Huh. So when I go out here, there's nothing that can see me if I do this. But when I was in there, if I do this, then something saw me. Mm, maybe like provoke it to come out. No. Uh, okay, well. We're not gonna get him to spawn, I think. Uh, so we'll cut this episode, we'll end this episode here, and this has been Karaj signing off. And until next time, take care.